This is Army of Two for the PlayStation 3. An interesting game and a fairly unique concept in the first-person shooter genre. I've been a big fan of first-person shooters since Doom came out on the PC so long ago and have played through a great number of them. Most recently I've enjoyed Resistance Fall of Man on the PS3 and Bioshock on the Xbox 360. This game is very different. The camera angle is always a little bit off-center from your character and I had a very difficult time uh, getting into the gameplay on this game because of that. The primary difference between Army of Two and games like Halo 3 or Bioshock or Resistance is that it forces you to rely on your partner, hence right, the army of up. two. This is combat. You can die in combat. Ah! If you don't want to die, you have to use aggro. This is you. This is your partner. These are enemies. You shoot at them, attract their attention, they're gonna shoot at you, not your partner. Let's say you both shoot at them. If your partner has a bigger gun, the enemy will shoot at him instead of you. This is called aggro. If your partner has all the aggro, you're basically invisible. You can I played this game enemies, just want. by myself playing the with the computer AI as my partner, and I'd have to believe that it, it would be far more fun playing with an actual friend as your partner. Although the AI partner worked fairly well, I had a hard time getting into the gameplay on this game. First off, I should say that I've been pretty busy reviewing all the classic games recently and had a coupon for Best Buy, so I went out and just wanted to pick up some fun shooter for the PlayStation 3. I didn't really read the packaging very closely, so I thought this game was more science fiction oriented. It has those two guys in the cover with machine guns and really cool looking face masks, so it seemed like it might be uh, somewhat fantasy oriented. And obviously, I, w I was very, very wrong. I got you. Props, bro. Dun, 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 dun. I don't actually enjoy playing video games that uh, reenact the conflict that we're in right now. I enjoy violent video games and shooting games, but I prefer them to take place in more of a fantasy-oriented environment rather than to be constantly reminded of the world that we do live in today. Therefore, I greatly preferred Resistance Fall of Man and Bioshock and Halo and those kind of games because they're so obviously in a fantasy world that although they are heavily violent and you're, you're wasting thousands and thousands of people or aliens, it's just not real and it, it's never intended to be real. That you can go wherever you please, huh? Take what you want, but this is not your country. This is our country, and this is how we say hello in our country! All right, man, back to back! This game is uh, one of these games that frankly just, just hits a little too close to home. In a game like this, stress is only the violence and the action and not the actual lives of our men and women in uniform, and uh, that's just something I personally don't agree with. So that combined with the gameplay prohibited me from really getting into this game. And I played it a while because frankly the graphics and the environment and the, the overall pacing of the game was fascinating. It's, I think this is a great look at next generation gaming. I just didn't care for the uh, story or, as I said, the camera angles. And even a game like Grand Theft Auto is so obviously in a fantasy made up environment that you can run around and use a flamethrower on people and blow cars up and it's just clearly not real. This game also wanted to imitate Black Hawk Down a little too closely including some of the speeches from the characters and uh, the music is almost a direct clone of the Hans Zimmer score from Black Hawk Down so. So if, if you like what you see, if you like the uh, modern warfare style of games, maybe this one is for you. But personally on the PS3, I'd rather play Resistance Fall of Man.
because as far as I know, there isn't actually a Chimera threat to the world. I'm pretty sure that was just made up. Copy that. We'll be fine. No. Run.